So, tell me, Steve, how long have you been interested in magic? A about a year. Uh, someday I'd like to be a good stage magician. Good. Well, you're learning from the best. You wouldn't be able to find a better stage magician than me if you didn't look. Uh, Mr. Magician, sh shouldn't we start with some basic magic tricks? Uh, maybe cards or coins? What? Why? Uh, this just seems a bit too extreme for a beginner. All right, Steve. Answer me this. If you don't get thrown into the deep end of the pool, how will you ever learn how to swim? Let me tell you, I'm sure I wouldn't have come up with a better introduction to magic for you than this illusion, even if I thought about it. Take off your blindfold and give it to me. I'm going to put it on. Now you rearrange the cups any way you want. Done. Good. Now, neither of us knows where the dreaded cup is. Hold out your hand. Don't worry. One of the aspects of mentalism is precognition. Is, is it? You bet. <laughs> when I was blindfolded, I put myself in a mental trance in order to visualize where you might have moved the dreaded cup. Wait, you only visualized where I might have moved it? You, you don't know for sure? Uh. Maybe this isn't the kind of introduction to magic Nonsense. I was looking for. Nonsense! Relax yourself. Relax your hand. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. Hey, buddy, come over here. Take a look. Watch me control objects with my mind. What happened to your hand? None of your concern. And there you have it. Wait, do that again. Hmm? Do it again. No. This is it. The one illusion that will make me stand out from the rest. Yes. That will separate the boy from the man. I will hypnotize you and take control of you mentally and physically. Maybe I'm not the right person for this experiment of yours. Nonsense, Jerry. Weaker minds are easiest to penetrate. You're the perfect candidate. I just don't want to be turned into some sort of uh, guinea pig. No, what? I'm not going to turn you into some West African animal. I'm not that good yet. Relax yourself. I'm going to swing this in front of your face. And all you have to do is to follow it with your eyes. I don't know. There is nothing to it. All right. I'll do it with you. We'll do this together. Keep your eyes on it. Concentrate. Your body is in a total state of relaxation. Your eyes are getting heavy. Just keep looking at the pendulum. Do 
just keep looking at the pendulum. This uh, really isn't working on me. Hey, are you listening to me? Well, stop waving that stupid chain in front of my face. Are you okay? Did he just hypnotize himself? What seems to be the problem? He just froze. Any theories as to what might have happened? Looks serious. Maybe he's been rendered brain dead or something. No. He was brain dead long before we started filming. I think he accidentally hypnotized himself. Can't be that. Why not? It's too ridiculous, even for him. How do you know this guy? I'm his neighbor. Well, try something. Um, snap out of it. Dehypnotize yourself. Now what? Maybe we should call the medical authorities. Bad idea. Why's that? Look at him. What are you gonna tell him? He was conducting his retarded voodoo hypnosis, which accidentally backfired on himself. They're never gonna believe it. And we'll be the ones to blame. Pretty soon the police get involved. And I will not be the subject of another police investigation. What's the alternative? I don't know about you, but we, the crew, we were already paid in advance by this guy. So we're just gonna leave. What? Yeah, this is his house. But his project, we're only on the second act. You even know what the third act is called? The death defying, catching bullets with your teeth, sawing people in half, those sort of stunts. If we film that, given his track record, we will most certainly be charged with involuntary manslaughter. This could actually be a blessing in disguise. Frankly, I'm surprised we even made it that far. Let's get out of here then. Yeah, well, in that case, it's probably for the best.